In the XY plane below, the unshaded region R is bounded by straight lines AB, AC, and OB. The question says, write three inequalities that define the region R. So they want you to write the inequalities that define the region R. Before you start answering the question, there are three things. There are three important things that you're supposed to know when writing inequalities. So number one, you need to know is the line dotted or full. If you have a full line, it means you are going to have your inequality is going to have uh, either less or equal to or greater or equal to. Number two, if these lines are dotted, then it means your inequalities will either your inequality will either have a greater than or less than sim number three we shared the unwanted we shared the unwanted region so for example in this when you look at this line this line here the region that has been shaded is this this side the greater part so this greater part is the unwanted is the unwanted region okay um i will explain more on that in a moment so now let's look at this. So we have this line, uh, this line and that line that are defining this region R. Before you start answering, you need to look for the line that has the easiest equation. Okay. When you look at the lines that are crossing both the, the X and Y axis, like this one here, it will require you to use some formulas. Even this one is also crossing the X and Y axis, but this one is only crossing the Y axis. So meaning this one has the easiest equation. Uh, how you get the equation, you just look at where this line is crossing here. You can see it's crossing at 12. So the equation is Y is equal to 12. Now, what about the inequality for this line? The inequality for this line, first of all, you need to ask yourself, is the line full or dotted? So you can see that this line is a full line. So because of that, our inequality will either have this or that. Okay. Uh, now, the second question you're supposed to ask yourself is, which side is the unwanted region or which side is shaded? So you can see that the greater part is the unwanted region which has been shaded so meaning the wanted part is the, the less part so it means that our inequality will be y is less or equal to 12 okay so this is the inequality for this line now how are you going to find let's say we are finding the inequality for this line here how are you going to find the inequality for this line First of all, you collect the points along this line. So in this case, we've already been given the points. So we collect this, this point and this point as long as the points are lying along this line. So we are collecting negative 2, 12, this, and here, which is 2, 0. 2,0 here. Okay? So after collecting these points, you name them, you say x1, uh, y1, x2, y2. Okay, so the reason why you're doing this is because you need to find the gradient. You need to use these points to find the gradient of this line. After finding the gradient, you find the equation for that line and finally the inequality. So gradient is given by the letter M is equal to uh, Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. Y2 is 0, so you have 0 minus uh, Y1 is 12 
divided by uh, 2 x2 is 2 so we have 2 minus um, x1 is negative 2 okay then we have negative 12 over this will be positive 4 which gives the gradient to be negative 3 so the gradient is negative 3 so we use this gradient to come up with an equation okay so first of all we need to find the y-intercept so we are going to use the formula y is equal to mx plus c c is the y-intercept so we need to find the value of c so meaning we are going to get any of the points any of the point and replace the values of x and y in this equation for us to find c okay so you pick the coordinate with a zero so that it's easy it's easier to work with so if we get this point which has a zero uh, y the y value is or the y coordinate is zero so we have zero is equal to m is a gradient that you found is negative three then x x here is z is two plus c okay so you have zero is equal to negative 3 times 2 is negative 6 plus c so you see that uh, c is equal to uh, 6 positive 6 if you take it the, the, uh, the other side okay now that we know the value of c and the value of uh, the gradient m we can now use this same formula here to write the equation for that line so we have y is equal to mx plus c okay so we have y is equal to m we found m is negative 3 so we have negative 3 then x so this time around we are not replace, replacing the value of x then plus the value of c is 6 so this is the equation uh, for this line so the equation for this line is this one. So this is the equation for this line. Y is equal to negative 3x plus 6. Yeah, it's making sense. It's even making sense because you can see that where it's crossing, where this line is crossing here, it's, it's making sense that this can be 6. Okay? Now, since this is the equation what about the inequality what would be the inequality when you look at this line here first of all you need to ask yourself is the line uh, full or dotted you can see that this line is is a full line so meaning our inequality will have either this or that okay so you also ask yourself which side is the unwanted region is it the less part or the greater part so you can see that what has been shaded here is the less part meaning the greater part is the wanted part so we're going to say the inequality will be y is greater or equal to negative 3x plus 6 so this is the inequality for this line now let's find the inequality for this last line okay so as usual the first thing that you're supposed to do is to collect is to collect the points so this line is crossing here at 0 comma 0 so you have 0 comma 0 and also uh, 2 comma 12 there okay so we can use this to find the gradient so m is equal to y2 minus y1 over um x2 minus x1 so again here we have x1 y1 x2 y2 so we have y2 is 12 so we have 12 minus 
uh, y1 is 0 minus, I mean over, x2 is 2 minus uh, x1 is 0. So we have 12 divided by 2 which gives 6. Okay, so this is the gradient. This is a gradient. Now we are going to use this gradient to find the y intercept, the point at which uh, at which the line is crossing the y coordinate. So we are going to use this formula y is equal to mx plus c. So as usual, use the points that have zeros for easy working out. Okay, our aim is to find c. So let's pick this point that has zeros so that it's easy to, for us to work out. So we have the y, y coordinate there is 0 is equal to uh, the gradient is 6 times x is also 0 plus c. So you can see that c is equal to 0. c is equal to 0. Again, we're going to use y is equal to mx plus c to come up with, a, with an equation. So we have y is equal to, this time around, we are not replacing a, the coordinates. So we just replace the gradient and the y-intercept, which is c. So the gradient, we found 6. So we have 6x. Um, c is, is 0. Okay, so uh, we are going to have finally y is equal to 6x. This 0 is 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 omitted so so the equation is y is equal to 6x so the equation the equation for this line is y is equal to 6x now what about the inequality first of all ask yourself uh, is the line dotted dotted or full so from the look of things this line is a full line then which means our inequality will carry that carry one of this um then which part is the unwanted or which part has been shaded so when you look at this part that has been shaded is the greater part uh the part that has not been shaded which is the wanted part is the less part so meaning the inequality is going to be y is less or equal to 6x. Thank you very much for watching. And if you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing. Hit the like button, comment and share. See you in the next video. Goodbye.